playbook. Really? Really, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oops, my bad. Sorry about that. Hello, and uh, welcome to our keynote panel discussion at uh, this year's the 2009 World Beer Summit. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. My name is Jamie Steen. I'll be your moderator today. Um, today we have uh, two, uh, two great speakers. Uh, we have Dave Thibodeau. He is the co-founder from Sky Brewing Company in Durango, Colorado. And we have Mark Princeton, the Executive Senior Vice President, Director of Corporate Communications, New Venture Solution Products, Marketing, and Bioscience Research at uh, Rock Gutson International Beverage Products Incorporated. Senior Executive. Oh, I'm sorry. Senior executive. You wouldn't know. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yep. Um, guys, yeah, thanks. thanks for coming. I think I'm looking forward to a very insightful and lively conversation. Yeah. And uh, first, you know, before we get into it, uh, we at Rock Gutson would like to thank everyone here. We'd like to thank the audience, uh, everyone on the panel, including Dave. Uh, we'd like to thank our moderator and most of all the American people that enjoy our product. So uh, yeah. With that said, let's go ahead. Let's get going. As the world searches for new renewable resources, uh, how are you as a company acting or reacting? As a, as a company, we have an obligation to the communities uh, in which we live. And I, th I think you know, they support us. Uh, the place where we live, we got to take care of it. And as that radiates out and other business owners are doing the same thing, I think, uh, I think that's really what it's all about. It's a big picture. And I, we did, you know, we just finished. We just finished our new brewery and used a lot of, quote, green building practices. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. And we're 100% wind powered. There's, um, and, but I think the most important thing, and, and this is, uh, at, I guess, at the risk of sounding a little too much like a hippie, I think uh, the big thing is that you always have to be looking at the future and you can never really do enough. Yeah, uh, Mark. Um, to Rock Hudson. Could you? I, I mean, if you won't mind, would you? Uh, could you repeat the question? I somehow forgot what it was. Oh no, oh. Uh, uh, absolutely. Uh, we're just talking about um, the uh, the world. And it's, oh yeah, it's yeah, for yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got it. I got it. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, at Rock Hudson, we're not a uh, one color company. We're uh, we're three colors: red, white, and blue. Uh, this is an American company. We're not American owned per se, and most of our facilities aren't here. We don't employ a lot of Americans, but we believe in the American idea that freedom of choice is part of what's important about life. And we also believe that living is best done when you can have more. And the more you can have, the more you feel like you live. So I think it's pretty clear that, yeah, some companies are green, but we are a company, much like our country, that's red, white, and blue. Stars and stripes. Dave, uh, as a company, how do you define success and what's success look like for Scott? I think we're successful in that we've, we make beer, people get to drink our beer, and at the end of the day, we're all able to get by. We live in Durango, we can pay our mortgages, our, our rent, and you couldn't really ask for more than that. So I, I'd say we're successful in that you know we make good beer, we drink good beer, and we get by. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? Getting by is okay if you're in Hall of Notes, all right? But in 2009 in America, numbers are what speak to American people. We can't worry about what, who's getting by and who's friends with who and whose barbecue can I chill at. It's more about what can I say to my shareholders that proves that my company is economically viable and that I'm doing my part to turn this ship around because things aren't going that well. I don't know if you guys haven't noticed that out in Durango, but the world has taken a turn and we need to be thinking about how we can turn that around at Rock Guts and we have an answer. It's not necessarily the only answer, but it's part of it and it's thinking about numbers. So for us, we've set a goal for ourselves. It's to have a thousand new employees in a hundred new facilities in the 10 poorest countries in the world. As we head into 2009, what is a new product your company is really excited about? Well, this just coming out with this beer, Modus Hopperandi. It's a fairly hardy IPA. 
Um, I think everybody's pretty jazzed about that. We've got it out in bottles and in cans. And uh, excuse me. It's it, the thing that's actually moving forward. And in, in another month, we're going to come out with another one of our beers, our True Blonde in cans, also. And uh, that'll be our third craft beer in a can. And that's that's kind of what we're pretty jazzed up up about right now is is craft beer in a can. I'm I'm liking the can thing. Cool. Um, what was the question again? Sorry, he got so jazzed up, I, I kind of lost track of where we were going there. Uh, I was just asking if uh, there was a, a product that your company was excited about, a new product. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's that. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, didn't mean to interrupt you there. Um, yeah, for 2009, there's a lot of products we're excited about, but there's really one in particular. I, there's a lot of companies that are out there making promises. They're talking to people about uh, what they do and what ingredients they use and all those kind of things, but uh, at Rock Hudson, we're, we're kind of... We're an all-American company, and as an all-American company, we're worried about the little people, and uh, what people are more little than babies. So we've we've created a beer that's specifically designed to be drank by babies, uh, for babies, to their to suit their taste, and to kind of carry them through uh, infancy into childhood, and progress from people that drink milk to people that drink. Babies. Babies beer, um, yeah. Is this going to be an alcoholic beverage? Um, I mean, I didn't know we were going to get into a whole thing here. I'm not a scientist. I don't have the numbers with me. I can't really tell you what's in it or what's what. And all, all I'm trying to tell you is that children, who are kind of the life bread of this American country, uh, are being neglected by certain companies. And we as a company are not neglecting children. That's really what I'm trying to say. Thanks.